The first hurricane of the season formed this weekend. Meteorologist Corey Smith explains how satellites help to forecast the storm. Hurricane Don reached Category 1 status in the North Atlantic on Saturday. You might wonder how the National Hurricane Center was able to record the 75 mile per hour winds in a storm in the middle of the ocean. Over 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface, NOAA has five satellites that sit watching our weather for decades at a time. The Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites were first launched in 1975 and are now served by third-generation satellites as our main tools for observing weather over our oceans. The main feature of the GOES satellite is its Advanced Baseline Imager, which is essentially a group of different cameras. These satellites can take images as quickly as once every minute to show changes in our weather systems. Using water vapor imagery of hurricanes, these satellites use advanced algorithms to detect movements of specific features. This creates the best guess for wind speeds based on the movement. This past weekend, the static confirmed that Don had reached 75 mile per hour winds, even without a measurement at the surface. Not only does this help us more accurately name and rate storms, but also helps input better information into our weather models to give an accurate forecast. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith.